Hey guys, so Shane here with a tutorial and I haven't done one since Valentine's Day so I figured it would be time to get one up. It's on this sort of neutral look. It's a little bit more smoky. It's like a white pinky on the lid and then like a purple brown in the crease. It's something that I've been doing a lot recently, mostly on the weekends, and I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already and enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to start by taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and just applying this to the lid. This is just going to prime the eyes, prep them for the shadows that we're going to be applying. I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. This one is in yogurt, which I use all the time. It's just a really great kind of champagne-y pink shade. I use this every day. And I'm just going to apply this a few times just to the lid. I'm not going higher than the lid to the crease. So I'm just going to blend that out as well. And this will act as a base. And the reason we put a primer underneath this, even though this is a base, is because the NYX Jumbo Pencils do tend to crease on me. So then for shadows, I'm going to be using a NYX Trio to start with. This doesn't have a specific name, but each of these colors has a name, which means that they are sold individually. And the color I'll be using out of this one is this shade right here, which is called Aloha. It's kind of a light, kind of um, pinky white champagne color. And I'm going to be taking the NYX, or not the NYX, the Sonia Kashuk Flat Eyeshadow Brush to apply this. So I'm just going to pick up some of this color and apply this all over the lid, really packing this color on. Kind of like, oh there's a black thing right there, kind of like this. Alright, that's good. Then I'm going to be taking the Naked Palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to take a crease brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm taking the color Naked, which is this kind of matte blending color. This is going to act as our best friend color for the crease and I'm just going to lightly dust this windshield wiper motion into the crease. And this will also give some sort of like shading and dimension to the eyes instead of just using two different colors and just getting that. Okay. And then from that Ulta Cheetah gift set that I got for my birthday, or not for my birthday, for Christmas, I did a Christmas haul featuring it. Um, it's a gift set, so it came with a bunch of eyeshadows if you didn't know. Um, I'm taking the middle section of eyeshadows, which is the biggest section. It's also the neutrals. And I'm going to be taking this color right here called Organza. It's a dark brown, but it has purple in it, and I really like this color. I'm going to use a Avon rounded shadow brush to apply this. I'm going to use basically a pencil brush, and I'm just going to put this color in the outer V and in the crease. So I'm going to kind of pack it on because we can always blend it out later. And I'm just blending this with a light hand on the outer V and into the crease, just kind of dragging it in and also lightly kind of going above the crease. So when your eyes are open, you can still kind of see the color. And this is one of the shadows that came in this set that's actually really pigmented, so I'm pretty happy with that because I really like this color. I might go buy the um, single one. Alright, that looks about good. I'm just going to put a little bit more on the lid and drag it and that seems to be good. Then I'm just going to take a blending brush, this is just from Flirt, and blend out the edges. Keep blending that out until it's like a soft line. And then next I'm going to be taking my, where is it? L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to do this off camera, but like you can see on this side, I'm just making a small kind of wing. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I just finished the liner and I forgot to do a step. I'm going to go back in and take my Urban Decay Naked Palette again and take the shade Virgin. And I'm going to use this as a highlight color. I forgot all about this. So I'm just going to lightly dust this underneath my brow as a highlight color. So forgot about that. Then I'm going to be taking my Rimmel um, Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, which is an eyeliner. It's just a black eyeliner. And I'm going to be lining um, about one third of the way on my waterline. I've been doing this a lot lately just because it doesn't look as harsh. It actually just looks better, I think. And then I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner pencil. This is the NYC coal eyeliner pencil just in white and I'm not li lining on my waterline I'm just gonna go a little bit 
in the inner tear duct and then just drag it about halfway underneath my lash line that felt weird and then I'm gonna go back in with the naked palette in the color virgin on an eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna kind of pat this over top of the tear duct area where we put the white I'm not gonna bring it under though I'm just gonna put it on the tear duct area just to highlight that and then I'm going to be taking if I can find it the NYX liquid crystal liner and crystal hip and just putting this underneath my lower lashes on top of the white this will just make my eyes pop and it has a brush applicator so I'm just going to line this underneath my lash line and this is just a kind of clear coat with lots of glitters so they have ones that are like pink and stuff but I just like this one then I'm going to be curling my lashes And I'm going to be doubling up on mascara like I have been in the past few tutorials, starting with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which is probably my new favorite mascara. I just, I love this mascara. So I'm just going to coat my lashes with this. As well as my bottom lashes. Oopsies. Aw. Aw, I just drew it on my hand too. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, oh well. Okay. And then taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes just to top it off. Like that. It kind of makes it look clumpy, but I just really like that. So that's basically it for the eyes. Okay, and so for my cheeks, I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink, which is just a really nice kind of everyday pink shade. I'm using the e.l.f complexion brush to apply this. I'm just going to lightly dust this onto my cheeks just to kind of warm up my face and have like a natural flush to my cheeks. You can use any blush really. And then for a highlight, whoops, I'm going to use the Benefit High Beam. I got this little mini one in my Finding Mr. Bright set. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my cheekbones and blend it out with my finger. And this will just illuminate my cheeks. I'm going to put it on my nose a little too. And then for lips, I'm just going to be using a gloss today. I'm using the Bon Bell Lip Devotion in Strawberry Sweetie. I talked about this in my February favorites. It's just one that you crank up. And I'm just going to... Oh, it smells so good. Alright, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry my tutorials have been so long, but I just really like kind of getting precise and down to the point. So I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next